We have a week full of fantastic winter greens recipes. And today is no exception. I'm starting off with a fantastic salmon and sort of like an Asian cabbage salad recipe that I think nobody will be able to say no to. The first thing that you wanna do is zest a lime. You need a teaspoon of lime zest, tablespoon of honey. The honey helps the salmon get nice and golden and it makes, it really basically is the base of your glaze. And then two teaspoons of soy sauce, low sodium or regular, I'm using regular. That's two thirds of a tablespoon. Just saying that since I'm measuring it in a tablespoon measure instead of using a teaspoon so that I don't have to wash a teaspoon. It's not laziness, I'm just trying to avoid washing extra dishes. Thinking of you. I'm gonna just put a little bit of sesame oil on there so it doesn't stick. Really like the tiniest drizzle. And then just spread it out. So put the salmon on the baking sheet. Spread your glaze over the salmon, nice and evenly. And have your broiler preheating because you wanna cook this in a broiler and it really should take like six minutes. So once this goes in, you have six minutes to finish the rest of your salad. One more thing I wanna do while I'm over here, all the way over here, is cook some edamame. One and a half cups, I'm just gonna cook in some water. I already have boiling water. ABP, people, ABP. Cut up some cabbage. Now, you need Napa cabbage and red cabbage for this. So you need a half a head of each. Remove any damaged outside leaves and get just get rid of those. You don't need them, obviously, for obvious reasons. And then cut your cabbage in half. Take out the core and then very thinly slice, like you're making coleslaw, the cabbage. Basically what you're looking for is a total of eight cups of shredded cabbage, the combination of red and Napa. So you feel like your Napa cabbage is giving you six cups, do two cups of the red cabbage, it's totally up to you. All right, I think my edamame are done. Yeah, let's see. It really, once it comes to a boil, I'd say a minute. Yeah, they're tender. Perfect. I really needed a facial this morning. You might just want to cool them off just a tiny bit. And then really, really shake them dry. You don't, any, you don't want water in there, that's ick. All right, add that to your cabbage. And then the red cabbage can be cut up. Same thing, shred it just like you're making coleslaw. Nice and thin. Make sure you tuck your fingers so you don't cut them off and get it nice and shreddy. Is shreddy a word? Hmm. Doubtful. Now just add that to your bowl. Now you make a little dressing, a lime vinaigrette. Take your already zested lime. You may need more than one lime, we'll see. Not with this lime, it's very juicy. And then a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. You find the flavor of toasted sesame oil a little bit overpowering, which some people do. Use a neutral flavored oil and then just season at the end with a little bit of toasted sesame oil. It'll balance itself out. And then four teaspoons of soy sauce. Give that a stir. One more ingredient for this is some scallions. I have a small bunch of scallions that are gonna get sliced and added to the salad. You can put as little or as much of this in there as you like. You don't have to overdo it. Some people don't like a lot of raw onion, even if it's a mild scallion. All right, now all we need to do is get our salmon and we're good to go. How easy was that? Flake your salmon in big flakes so it doesn't break you down too much. Take your salad dressing, drizzle a little bit over your salmon. Toss your salad before you add the salmon and then just add the juices and the salmon to the salad because the juices are gonna help flavor the salad. Very, very carefully toss everything together. The more you mix it, the more the salmon will break down and you don't want that. But it's a beautiful and fresh, wintry, but bright salad. Exactly what we're looking for at this time of year, right? It's a lot of food, so I don't think anybody's gonna go hungry tonight. I mean, except for the cabbage, edamame, and salmon haters. <laughs> mm. So good, it's so fresh, and takes like 15 minutes start to finish. Who could ask for anything more? Not me, I'll tell you. I loved Greens Week. 